Greetings and salutations. We are back with Divine Masculine Situation. Um, just like last message, head, shoulders, knees, and toes rent. And we shall begin. So, head, yeah, that's Swartz. Thoughts, decisions, mentality, ideology, the direction you're going, the decisions you're making, your mental state, your mental health, your mental capacity, your mentality. That's Swartz. Cups. Cups are feelings and emotions. All feelings and emotions are just indicators of where you're going mentally. Your heart and mind must be aligned with anything that you do. Who rules the heart and mind department? The divine feminine. Then you got wands. Wands are knees. Knees are things you're doing and things you've done. Not things you finna do because you ain't did it yet. Actions and behavior. That's wands. And then you got pinnacles. Pinnacles are persons, places, and things. Shit you can taste, test, see, feel, and hear. And all pinnacles expire. Who rules the wands department? The king of wands. The divine masculine. So. Picking up the masculine's message. Feminine had a great message. I think you should definitely check it out if you haven't already. Masculine. Is set up with the overall energy, which is fairly important. Um, bottom line energy, which is very important. The top row is the divine masculine subconscious energy or indirect energy or mystery madness, so to speak. The bottom row is the divine masculine's conscious energy, direct energy. First card in this message, we got the eight of wands. Eight of wands is communication. Communication is a wand. It's something you're doing or something you've done. And you should you finna do because you ain't did it yet. You ain't finna say something. You either said it or you're saying it. And not saying something is saying something. Or not doing something, because these are actions and behavior. Not doing something is doing something. 80% of... I have to call you back, Stephanie. Unless you call me right now, so I don't know. Um, eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is 80% nonverbal. So that ain't really what you're saying, it's what you're doing that counts, masculine. You can say all you want, but it's the stuff you do that matters. Shit the feminine don't really get because, you know, she the queen of wands and not the king of wands like you. You feel me? But you know it's about your actions and you know it's about your behavior. So more smoke, we have the four swords. Four swords is being too in your head, too much rest and relaxation, in need of a break, or you idle mind it. What's the idle mind? It's the devil's workshop. How does the devil even get into your mind? It being idle. You in your head and you ain't doing no actions. You the king actions, right? You the king actions, right? I bet it up. So you can do everything else wine wise. Why can't you communicate? Why are you too in your head about saying something? Something that you want to say, but you're not saying because you in your head about what to say. You know? To where it's created an idle mind for you. That type of energy is like something, like words that was never said. Something you been wanting to say to your divine feminine, to your karmic feminine, to the feminines in your life, to the masculines in your life. You know, something you want to say, but you ain't said it yet. And by you not saying it, it's saying something. From, from you not doing something, that's doing something. Bottom line, more important than all that, dear. We got the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is a master manifester. King of Pentacles represents ownership. Whether you're taking ownership for a mistake, ownership for your part in something, or ownership in a business, a CEO. Like a master manifester, it's like an alchemist, a witch, you know, a doctor, a person that can basically manifest whatever the fuck they want to manifest. This is king shit right here. You know what I mean? When you're in energy like this, like I say, you're taking risks. What's the owner? person that basically takes a risk to, um, to put out a product or service to the community or taking a risk to build jobs for the community. Or your staff can fuck your business up. A lawsuit can fuck your whole empire up. You know what I mean? But you the king of this empire. You know? So it's how you handle business. If you're doing bad business, then bad business practices will be done on you. If you out here finessing, then you're going to get finessed. You're a good person, and good shit gonna happen to you, but you could do everything good, and shit still happens. That's part of the accountability aspect of it. 
You know, you a homeowner. You got property. Property gets injured by people who ain't got no fucking property. I have no type of accountability in the manner that you have in masculine. Like I said, it's just being a person who has things. And as a person who has things, who owns things, you know, you're going to have to, like, utilize it to your best of your ability. It's like, be a philanthropist if you got all the money that you need to succeed, survive, and thrive in life. You know, put people on how to make money the way you make money. Or utilize your time, energy, resources, influence, pinnacles to help other people get on. You know what I mean? It's a lot that you can do with your ownership, not just own it. But it's something you have to own up to. I just see that more than anything. You're going to have to own up to something huge. It's very important. And by owning up to whatever this is you need to own up to, masculine, you're going to win. Six of Wands is winning victories for celebrations. Winning are actions. You play the basketball game. That's Wands. You're doing shit. <laughs> I mean, that's something you've done. That's something you're doing. Actions and behavior. It's like you're playing a basketball game and you fucking win. You worked to win. Understand what I'm saying? Victory. What's a victory? Shit, that's something you fought for. That's want. Celebrations. That's something you're doing. Want. Right? So, like I said, do work. You'll win. You're already a capitalist. You're already a business owner. You're already, you know, you're already a master manifester. Don't just win off of it yourself. Help other people win the way you win it. That'll make you even more of a winner. <sighs> Coming to the situation. As far as your mystery madness masculine, you got the Nine of Wands. This is the Wounded Warrior. What's the Wounded Warrior? It's wands. Actions. Actions and behavior taking its toll. Things you've done or things you're doing, that's taking its toll. You work out. Okay? Eventually you're going to get tired. Eventually you're going to get sore. But no pain, no gain. You want to get right, right? All right. Don't take a little work. Don't take a little pain. Don't take its toll. But it's worth every fucking wine you putting into yourself right now. Or you putting into your business right now. Or you putting into your children's right now. Whatever you putting a hell of wands into. You know? Only way you'll feel like shit from being woe down, from being towed down, is if, like I said, you probably ain't get what you want. You got a business. You put a lot of work in. And it's like... Given the amount of work that you put in, you tired as hell, you woe out, it's taking its toll, but from these wands, you get the next step, what, pinnacles, that's manifestation, manifesting a person, place, or thing, something you can taste that sea in here, like some scratch, only time you're going to feel dissatisfied from the shit that you put into something, is if you didn't get something, if you didn't get what you wanted out of it, let's just say you put a lot of things into your business only for nothing to happen. You an artist. You put all this money into promoting your album. Your album come out and flop. You know what I'm saying? You put all the ones and actions and decisions you can do. Behavior, change of behavior. You do all these things to try to please a person. And they end up going with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? It's called the same energy. If you up and you winning, keep that same energy for when you down and you losing. You don't lose. We really take lessons. We don't take L's. The L we take is the lesson, not losses. Look at all losses as lessons, and that's a blessing. Work. At the end of the day, you worked. You tried. You did what you could do. That's all that fucking count. If that don't mean anything to this person, to that person, then fuck them. They ain't no man. They ain't no woman. They ain't no adult. They're not mature. Only person who have things appreciates the fact that you work for things. People who don't have shit really don't know... What goes into working shit out, you know what I mean? So, you directly, we got another nine, and that's the nine of pinnacles. So, put a lot of work in, masculine. And from the work you put in, you finally aligned your life up. Eight of pinnacles is the life. That's shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, comfortable beds you're sleeping on, the four walls that is your shelter, your job is in your life, your family is in your life, your flame is in your life, God is in your life. Purpose and path is in your life. All that is a life. Average person ain't got no life. Life is eight of pentacles. That's a good standard. Nine of pentacles, that's having a life and more. 
Now, usually when you look at eights, they are all over the place. Like going back to the eight of wands, communication. Look how this eight looks. It's all over the place. Look how nine looks. It's, you know, these are eight wands. These would be four wands, four wands on the side, and you personally lining that shit up yourself. These are pinnacles, though, persons, places, and things. So, nine of pinnacles is an A. Usually, when you're in a position like this, you can continue to complete this cycle of what you've been doing. You've been stacking your cheese up, you've been lining things up in your life. So, ten of pentacles. What's ten of pentacles? That's a manifestation. Ten, ten of pentacles is a manifestation. That's something that you wanted to happen, happening. Or that's something you wasn't able to do before because you couldn't do it. Now you can do it. You know what I mean? Ten of Pentacles is you and another person coming together like butt cheeks. You and another person becoming one. You and another person becoming engaged. You and another person falling in love. You and another person establishing something, a person, place, or a thing together. You know what I'm saying? You know, you line your life up to fit another person, place, or thing in your life. Or you could take this pinnacle and bless somebody with it. You get this pinnacle away, where that lead you at? An eight of Pentacles. What's that? A B. A good standing. A life. You got life and more. Whatever, however you choose to use this and more, is up to you. But it's how you, it's how and what you do with this and more shit that's really gonna define who you are as a person. So you lining your life up for you, or are you lining your life up for you and someone else? It's like whoever the someone else is, you kind of been in your head about letting them know or including them or whatever you into. It's like you have a lot of masters are at cuffs to where they're lining their life up to do what's best for them or they're lining their life up for another person, place, or thing to enter or re-enter their life. As far as the feminine role, masculine, um, what the feminine role and the divine masculine's energy is, is like you're feminine too. Like all masculines are feminine, all feminine are masculines. We all got both energies. Feminist. It's good when a masculine steps into his feminine side. Or her, he could be a she, she could be a he, you know how be rocking. It's good when you step into your feminine side, masculine, because what you're doing, you step into your heart's department, that's uh, feelings and emotions, all indicators of where you're going mentally, and that's really making a solid decision or a sound decision of what you really want to do. I told you how masculines work, they're the king of wands. They're just doing shit and pinnacles, manifesting things, and then getting their heart and mind aligned post-manifestation. You understand what I'm saying? Feminines, we already start from here, so we do it successfully. Think of something or go in a direction, feel something about it, wands, do something about it, pinnacles, manifest it. Masculine, he starts at the wands. That's why he's all over the place. You know what I'm saying? So, if it ain't your divine feminine, this energy could be about. It could be the feminines in your life. Your karmic feminine, your mother, sister, a best friend, I'm saying, like female co workers, feminine co workers, he could be a she, she could be, you know, like yourself and the feminine tip or feminine energies around you. And your self conscious or indirect or mystery, mad mystery madness, bro, in regards to a particular feminine or the feminine energy, we got the two of wands. Divine masculine, this is your role. It's the two of wands. Divine feminine's role is the three of wands. What's three of wands? That's evolution. Evolving from the two of wands. What's two of wands? This is survival. Making ends meet. Or being a staple. Or a support system. All the master's job to do in the Twin Flame demo is to survive. Just be alive. When your master dies, it's kind of a wrap on this Jumanji game that is your Twin Flame demo. You still got other twins you can build a life with and shit like that, but as far as your twin, until one of you passes, that's when the support system is gone. That's when your masculine can't two or one your three or one anymore. What's two or one in the divine feminine's three or one? Supporting your number one supporter. The divine feminine is the divine masculine's number one supporter. But also, the divine masculine is the divine feminine's support. Two of ones is a paperweight on paper, a money clip holding money together, a wallet holding things, a purse holding things. It's a, it's a, it's a purse. You got a lot of shit, you, got, you know what I mean? You bring it with you, your masculine is the purse you bring, you put your shit in. You know what I mean? Being there. If all your masculine does is just be there when you need him or support you when you need support, God damn it, he's doing a good job and doing something most masculines ain't doing, according to y'all. That's bullshit, but according to y'all. 
So, two of wands. Work. It's also with the two of wands. It work. When it comes to feminine energy, you, it's a lot of work to do. Or, when it comes to your specific feminine that you kind of want to fuck with, that you kind of want to include in your life, that feminine has a lot more work to do. And you see that clear as day. Or that's something you're going to say. You directly, in regards to the feminine energy, masculine, you got the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is the re-re card. R-E-R-E. That's rearranging some shit. Relocating or some shit. Removing something away from you. Releasing something. Reconnecting with something. Reuniting with something. Readjusting something. Reevaluating something. Renewing something. Reneging on something. R-E-R-E. Rehab, rehash on some shit. You know. Whatever R-E-R-E is, it's about seven R-E's you have to do, masculine, for you to kind of get what you need from the feminine energy right now. As far as stepping into yourselves, masculine, you're going to have to work on stepping into your feminine side more. You see, in the feminine energy, we just got wands and pinnacles. That means you ain't stepping into your feminine side as much, man. Work on that. Or remove some shit or rearrange some shit for you to kind of get in tune with this. Get in tune with the feminine. Masculine. Get in tune with the feminine energy. Okay? So, divine feminine women who need to step in tune with their feminine energy. This is like I said. You, you know... Way you become feminine is, like I say, not being passive-aggressive instead of aggressive. Just being more lenient to shit. Being more understanding. More caring. Putting more thought into shit. Making a solid direction with someone, someplace or something. You know? Not trying to grab the reins on everything. Not trying to control Every motherfucking thing. Submitting to, for some women, in some cases, some of y'all just so masculine. Y'all just refuse to submit. Y'all just refuse to go that way or go that road. But you ain't got to go all the way there, but at least step into it. Might help or change a lot of difference in your situation. You know what I'm saying? So, masculine, you just got a lot of rearranging to do. A lot of shifting to do. So you can get your life back on track where you need it. As far as yourself and your indirect energy masculine or your subconscious energy masculine or your mystery madness masculine, we got the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is self-love, self-care, self-respect, self-admiration, self-realization, self-identification. You got to understand yourself. Why? So you can understand someone just like yourself. You understand yourself, so, you know... You understand who you're looking at. You know, when you get understanding or receive understanding from somebody, you can respect that. Ace of Cups is love. You got to love yourself first. If you don't love yourself, how could someone who truly loves you love you? How could somebody give their heart to you if you don't really know what a heart is? What's a cup? It's filled with an emotion. All energies, like all indicators. A cup is the indicator. Emotions is an indicator. Feelings are an indicator. Feelings and emotions. All indicators on where you're going mentally. Having your heart and mind aligned with the understanding that you have. Having your heart and mind aligned with the love that you are. Get what I'm saying? Like, this is identification, self identification. You're going to have to identify who you are. You're divine, you're something special. You're something unique, unlike anything on this planet. It's, you know, it's best you register that. So when you meet another person like you, your divine counterpart, your divine reflection, your twin flame, you can acknowledge them. How can you not, how can you acknowledge your twin if you don't see the twin shit between you two? Your feminine get it, but you're going to have to get it too. You're going to, it's going to have to register. This is shit registering in your heart. As to what things are in your life and the way you feel about it, your emotions towards it and shit. Uh, direct energy in regards to yourself personally, directly masculine, we got a Ten of Swords. You personally gonna deal with a Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is a death or a permanent ending. Death is prevalent 
It happens frequently. It happens daily. The older you get, the more funerals you're going to attend. This is another funeral. And you don't necessarily attend, you know, given coronavirus, funerals are fucking changed now, you know what I mean? But this is yet another funeral. This is <coughs> the death or funeral of a celebrity that's affected you in a way. It's like I had a real good friend of mine, an older friend of mine, a Vegas homie I used to kick it with all the time. Old school. He was like four years older than me. Cool as shit, though. Always showed me love when I came through the city. And, um... I was out in Vegas hanging with him and shit, and this is about the time Michael Jackson died. And I mean, this nigga had to been like, I don't think he was in the 60s yet. He had been like late 50s, 58, 59, crying, boy. Like, he watching Michael Jackson death all on the news. He just, not crying, sobbing, but crying just like, man, shit crazy. Like, I remember all his music. I remember when this came out. I remember when this came out. I remember... What was going on when this was out, and he was just like, yo, <laughs> shit real. You know, that shit affected him in a way to where it was kind of like proof that shit real. I guess it was like the death of Kobe Bryant and like Nipsey Hussle and shit, and that shit happened like, like um, back to back and shit. Like, it's crazy shit. Like, you know, death. Death has a way of standing out to be like statistic deaths. That you're looking at thinking, damn, the odds are against me. How can I beat these type shit? You know, this is the end of a relationship. Finally. You know, a relationship that ended not because you said something. Not because you did it, but because there's nothing else to do. There's nothing more to be said. It's just over. Period. It's permanent. There's some shit you can't come back to. There's some shit you can't change. There's some shit that's out of your hands. Just like that. It's mental, though. Something that's out of your hands or something that's died or passed on. That's that's mental, how you accept it, how you take it. You lose your job. Okay, find another one. Don't let this moment, you know, put you in a stagnant position or you have plans. And them shits get canceled due to whatever, outside shit. Okay, you got to live with it or do what you can do until, you know, you can get another situation. The rap when things end, end it. Don't look at it as an ending. Look at it as a new beginning. Because two things can't occupy the same space. And you gotta end things to begin things. To whatever ended, fuck it. To whatever ended, because you got a new beginning going the way. And it's mental understanding that. Death, it happens. They're going to a better place. They've passed on and moved on. It's time for you to do the same thing. Future final row. Wrapping this up. In your subconscious or indirect energy masculine or in your uh, mystery madness, we got the king of wands. That's you. You are a divine masculine. You're Neo in the Matrix. Divine feminine, that's Trinity. What makes you the king and her the queen is you got one up on the queen. Neo definitely has one up on Trinity. Trinity is one of the baddest motherfuckers in the land. You know what I'm saying? But Neo is just a little bit more powerful. You know, Trinity can kick better ass than Neo. Trinity, in my personal opinion, is more smarter than Neo, more wiser than Neo, has put in more work than Neo. I mean, Neo works. He, he works it out. But Trinity put more man hours and shit. Because you know where Trinity at most of the time? Zion. That's, that's, that's where the real world at. That's where real people at. That's where God at. You know what I mean? The kingdom. Where do Neo be at mostly? The world. The Matrix. Doing whatever the fuck he does in there. He does a lot. Like I say, the King of Wands is the King of doing shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like street level. Street level. Masculine's on the street level. Like by you being a masculine, you're more in tune with the world. You're more in tune with what the fuck's really going on. Like Marvin Gaye, what's going on? Like, nigga, you Marvin Gaye. You know what the fuck's going on. Feminine has an inkling of what's going on, but you know what's going on. Feminine knows shit, the theoretical side to shit. You know, it's like the paper. It's like feminine got the plan, but masculine is the one that executes it. It's like Mission Impossible and shit. Like, masculine is Tom Cruise. He's the nigga going down, you know what I'm saying, on a string, dodging lasers, trying to 
make this mission that's impossible possible. But what does Tom Cruise need every time? The motherfucker need a team. The Ryan Feminine is the team. But guess what? Masson's got to assemble the team. If Masson don't assemble a quality team, then him as a quality thief or a quality agent or a quality worker can't be matched. It's hand in hand. Everybody needs somebody. Masculine, you need a team just as much as the feminine need a team. Masculine, you need a partner just as much as your feminine need a partner. Masculine, you need love, support, admiration, and loyalty, and respect just the same as your feminine does. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, you're Neo. That means without you, bro, we can't have this Matrix movie. Without the masculine, can't really have this game, this Jumanji game that is this Twin Flame demo. The Maslin, you're the star player. This is you recognizing that, though. You got to understand who you are. So I'm going to do my Maslin all the time. I tell my Maslin frequently. Since the day I met him, all the time, yo, you something special. You something different. You something unique. You get from God, my dude. Like, you much more than a man. You much more than what you are. Anybody going to remind you and give you that respect and that praise and that honor that you need is being a super nigga because you ain't a regular nigga. You a super nigga. I'm a super nigga. You know what I'm saying? We're both super niggas. We're the same super niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, I let him know exactly who he is in case he forgot. I let him know exactly who he is. You know what I'm saying? Just in case the world ain't giving him that. You know what I mean? Like, if anybody going to know who the masculine is, feminine is. If anybody knows who the feminine is, how much work the feminine put in, what the feminine about, what she represent, all that blood, sweat, and tears and shit, world, whole world might not know. The people who she, he could be a she, she be a he, you know, I'll be rocking. Like, the, the shit that the feminine, the people who feminine do things for, or who inspired the feminine, won't understand or get her, why she does what she does. He could be a she, she be he, you know, I'll be rocking. But the masculine will. Can nobody tell your story like your twin at the end of the day? And it was meant to be that way. Because at least one person out of the whole fucking world who doubting, who not believing, who whatever you, your divine counterpart gives you. Final card in this message before we ask the universal questions. We got the Eight of Cups. Masculine issues you directly. Uh, it's the Pay the Bell card. What's the Pay the Bell card? It's a two part card. First part is keeping your integrity clean or keeping your integrity up to par. You know, being a trustworthy person, uh, a good person. A person can trust, a person that can lead their kids with. You know what I'm saying? A person that they can trust with their business. Uh, it's like, you know, you meet a person not too much and it's like you just meet them, they leave you in charge of their house and shit. Like, look, I gotta go back, I'm gonna let you be here. Like, they trust you. You know what I'm saying? It's a trustworthy person. Uh, divinity. You know, just being divine at all times. Doing good shit, doing the right things. Then even go to the other side saying you eating the right things, you feeding yourself the right things, just being divine and righteous in every way. But we got another side to it. We got the Enterprise card. You know, it's the Enterprise, like what Patty Bell doing. So going back to Patty Bell. Patty Bell been in the industry since the 70s. Since the 70s, her integrity has always been up to par. She's been a divine queen this whole time. Unlike her diva sisters. And she enterprising. That was like the icing on the cake. She started enterprising. And by enterprising, she ain't got a tour. She ain't got a sign on no label. She ain't got to do nothing. She can do whatever she want to do. And at her age, she's seasoned, still making moves. She started enterprising in the season, late, late in her season. And it's just secured her self for the rest of her existence by her enterprising herself. So masculine, going to the future. My masculine included. Like I say, masculine. It's a lot of masculines that's... A lot of masculines fuck with this spiritual community be saying and shitting on masculines all the fucking time. Like, a lot of masculines are on they shit. Change their ways up. Putting in work. Working on themselves, man. Eating better, living better. Adopted different values and shit. You feel me? All they gotta do is enterprise. It's a lot of masculines. Who good, put themselves in nice positions. All y'all do is enterprise. Soon as y'all enterprise, that's the icing on y'all cake. Y'all can get on y'all pay the bill shit. So what does the divine feminine want to say in the fourth or fifth dimension, man? That's one. 
Five of Swords, your feminine is saying focus. Five of Swords is thoughts, focus. Four of Swords is being in your head. This is what you had in the beginning of the message. Remember the last one? You was Four of Swords and the Eight of Wands. You wanted to say something, but you was too in your head about what you wanted to say. You holding in what you want to say. Too lax about what you need to say. This is the step after that Four of Swords. You out your head. Five of Swords is aiming at a target. Like aiming a gun at a target, a cock and a boy at a target. Four of Swords is just like looking in a random direction. Five of Swords is like you find a target and you aiming at it. You know, if you aiming at anything, you need to focus. But don't focus too hard or too long or cock your bow too long because it's going to fuck up the accuracy of the shot. Six of Swords, which is letting shit go. Um, don't focus too hard because it's going to fuck up the accuracy of your shot. You're focusing for a reason. You know? Feminist saying focus on what matters. Focus on what needs to be done. Focus on your J for journey. Clarifying this focus is the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is moving fast and fiercely towards your divine direction. You know, what does that mean? You being in a place to be. Whether you at a place you love being at, whether you at a place you okay with and don't know how you got there, or whether it's a place you don't want to be. You want a place to be, good, bad, or ugly. You know? Don't, you know, that's the focus. Don't focus on where you at. Focus on where you're going. It's not about where you're going, but where you at, too, though. But everything is reflective and have flip sides and shit. But look, focus on the journey. I got it this far. Like, I've grown this much. I've developed this much. I've went through a lot, and now I'm here. You know, what, what else is for me? What's the real reason I'm here? Why did I really meet my divine? Why... And I am where I'm at in life. I'm, I love where I'm at in life, but I know I need to be on a higher echelon. You know what I'm saying? This is focusing on all that shit. Your journey, you know? It ain't about what I have. It's about what I'm doing. Not the one. It's about what I'm doing. What I have don't make me who I am. My status don't define me. You know? It's more like than what I am. It's what I'm doing. Fuck, what am I doing? How can I do more? You understand what I'm saying? That's the journey. You step into your journey. Feminine is just saying focus on your journey, your spiritual journey, your divine journey. You've handled life pinnacle wise, your financial, career, health. Shit, nigga, you, you cool. You knocked that shit out the park now. Time to focus on that divine journey, that spiritual journey, that four fifth dimensional course you had it on, that ascension process. You need. Masculine, what you telling yourself from the fourth and fifth dimension? We got the seven of swords. Tell the truth. Your fourth, fifth dimensional self is telling yourself to tell the truth. Truth sets you free. Seven of swords, which is mental. This is a cat coming out the back. Some darkness coming to the light. It's a secret being revealed. It's you taking off your mask and revealing what you really look like. This is you keeping it 100 with somebody. Somebody keep it 100 with you, or you keep it 100 with your motherfucking self. This is results. Some of the swords is you're telling yourself to set yourself free. Truth, truth sets you free. If there's something you need to say, say it. If something you need to reveal, reveal it. If something you need to get off your chest, get that shit off your chest. Don't hold it for another day, for another week, for another year. You understand what I'm saying? Aside from getting that out, we got five of ones. Whatever you got to say is going to be met. What opposition, but that's natural. Like, five of wands is outside conflict. What's outside conflict? That shit that don't involve you unless you involve yourself in it. But why? People are gonna be mad you smiling. Motherfuckers gonna be mad you in a good mood today. Motherfuckers gonna be mad you winning. Motherfuckers gonna be mad regardless. People gonna have something to say anyway. We ain't giving them something to talk about here. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, when it comes to you, do what's best for you, do what makes you happy. You know what I mean? Do what you want. Do what the show life. You're the thinker who thinks the thoughts that makes the thing. Don't let other people's thoughts and opinions affect your truth. Affect your moment. Affect your evolution, growth, and development. And spit like that. Final card in this message, rocking this message up. We got the King of Cups. This is 1950s, 1960s dad. Tough love card. It's emotional. What's tough love? That's not giving a fuck about nothing but the kingdom. What does that mean? Like I say, look at your average 1950s, 1960s dad. 
Archie Bunker from All in the Family, Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince of Bel Air, you know, Jack Arnold from The Wonder Years, George Jefferson from The Jefferson. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, James from Good Time. You understand what I'm saying? What do all them dads have in common? It ain't about them. It's about my family. It's about taking care of the family. It's about making sure we got lights in this bitch. It's about making sure we got a home. It's about providing structure. Fuck how I feel. My life is done and gone. It ain't a bad thing or a sad thing. You know, I'm just a 1950s, 1960s dad. Like All I'm worried about is my family's future. So my kids, think about it. James from Good Time. Look at his children. JJ was like slow, two-bit hustler, falling in with the wrong crowd. Michael all militant and shit like that. They both ain't on what, what James on. James can't even comprehend what they on, yet alone how they feeling and, and shit like that. It ain't like he tuning out the kids and the family life. He just trying to make sure he don't drop dead and have a heart attack from working as hard as he is to provide for the family and shit like that. Uh, Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince of Bel Air, like I say. Ashley always say, Dad, you don't get me. You understand it. You just don't get it. Hillary say the same shit. Will say the same shit. All the kids say the same shit. You, Dad, you don't understand what we got to go through. You don't understand all this shit. He's just like, Look, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Like, I bust my ass to get us in this mansion and shit, to get us in Bel Air. Like, I'm always paying bills and paying taxes on you motherfuckers. So, look. Y'all do y'all, just don't do shit too fucked up because I run this house and I don't want to hear nothing. My rules, my house, you can get the fuck out. It is what it is, like I say. It ain't being necessarily tough. It's just like I say, focusing on what matters. Just nigga, the future, the family, you know, the overall goal here. You know what I mean? Hey, focus on what matters, not what don't. If it ain't about the kingdom, if it ain't about God, if it ain't about divine love, if it ain't about personal ascension, if it ain't about evolution, if it ain't about doing more than just surviving, and if it ain't, you know, more, more. Life is so much more than what it's about. Get in tune. That's the message that I got, though. Hope I can be of good use. It's your boy, D-Boom. Please stay tuned for more messages. Deuces.